Good afternoon, Rhodes Untraveled family. Marcus here. Uh, it's just me. Grayson is still down in Central and South America for another few weeks now. Um, and this is just a little quick update video. I know last year we did a short video on the cars we wanted to drive in 2016. We we knocked off like a good amount of the cars, I feel like. We didn't get to a few like the 997 GT3 RS. Ever since I got like five minutes behind the wheel of that car, I've been dying to get behind the wheel again just because it is a manual, but I'm not complaining. We got to drive a 991 GT3 RS, so that is like mind blown, right? <laughs> as, as I'm sure you guys can tell just by watching my reactions in that video. Um, but yeah, so before I get to that though, first off, Actually, first off, thank you for everybody who's been listening to the podcast. We've had like hundreds and hundreds of new listeners um, week after week, which is phenomenal. We put on a podcast every single Wednesday on iTunes, Shout Engine, Stitcher, wherever else you download your podcast, whether it be iOS, Android, whatever, it's all there. Uh, in the most recent episode, actually, I sat down with Sid, who is the owner of RWB number eight, White Walker, that uh, I had the privilege to drive and we filmed two videos on. We basically just sat down for an hour and a half and talked about cars. He was recently over in Hawaii for one of Nakai Sun's latest RWB builds, actually Hawaii RWB number one. He was there for that, so he talks a little bit about that. Um, Sid's a really cool guy. If you want to check out the podcast, that episode is right here. Link will be in the description. And as well, please leave us a rating and review on iTunes for the podcast. That really helps us out. Hit us up on Instagram, Roads Untraveled. Link is right there, description. Um, because that's where we are going to be starting to sell these, okay? Peel them off. It's just the logo. There's no like square around it or anything. Just peel it off, stick it on your car. Uh, here's a picture of the white version on my car. We have those and we have these. Limited numbers right now. We have 35 of each, so they're going to sell it quickly. If you want them, hit us up on Instagram and uh, you can get those very soon. Very exciting. Uh, as well as hats are coming, t-shirts, hoodies, all that good stuff. Um, tomorrow, it's gonna be something very interesting. Uh, big shout out to Kevin Minato. We are going to be going over to his house with Ulrich and Russ, who owns the V6 Swapped MR2 that you saw on our channel last year. Um, Basically, we're gonna be doing, actually, I'm not gonna spoil it, okay? It has to do with virtual reality, okay? You guys are gonna see some virtual reality on the channel tomorrow, or not tomorrow, but we're filming it tomorrow. Uh, you'll see it next Tuesday. But we've driven virtual reality before at Kevin's house, and it is seriously mind-blowing. So we're gonna bring it to the channel. Hope you guys enjoy it. I feel like a lot of you guys, uh, just looking like at our demographics, you guys play video games, or at least I hope you do. I play a lot of Forza. If you want to play with me on Forza, there's my gamer tag right there. I can't believe I'm giving that out, um, but I play Horizon 3 a lot, and I've got Forza 6 too, and um, yeah, cars we want to film in 2017. 2016 was an awesome year. It was a great year. Personally, and eh, man, like a 6 out of 10, but we won't get into that. Um, <laughs> for the channel, it was great. It was good, we filmed a lot of good stuff, we drove a lot of awesome stuff, we met amazing people, we made so many cool friends, obviously so many of you guys are just like liking, commenting, we are experiencing awesome growth on the channel. If you are around the Vancouver area and any of these cars I'm about to list off, um, maybe you own one or one of your friends owns one and you're interested in coming out and filming with us and showing us your build or just if it's a stock car, letting us review your car and take it out for a day, come hang out with us and film shoot me an email, marcus at roadsandtravel.net, I'll get back to you. Um, here we go, okay, first on the list, Aston Martin. I wanna drive an Aston Martin, it's a V12. I've never driven a V12, uh, I've never been in a car with a V12, and uh, yeah, that's the thing that definitely needs to happen. On to the next, S15 Sylvia. You're probably like, well, Marcus, you drove a Rocket Bunny S15, it was wicked, and it was wicked, it was really awesome, that was a great time. Um, but I mean, again, if you watch that video, I didn't get to push the car, it's a rocket bunny, it's just bouncing and scraping everywhere, and the car actually did not belong to the owner anymore when I drove the car and filmed the car, right? It had already been sold and it was delivered the next day, it's now in Saskatchewan, so like halfway across the country, um, or I guess that way. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, S15 Sylvia, I want to get in like a stock spec R or close to stock, maybe just like coils and an exhaust or something, and uh, really just push that in the twisties uh, really hard and see what those cars are all about. They're, they are literally the perfect size car. I know I failed to mention this in the video, but that's one of the things, like, 
driving an R34 Skyline versus an S15 Silvia. The R34, the presence of it is much greater on the street when you see one, but in terms of actually being behind the wheel, the S15 is just the perfect size car. Another one, we have not filmed any Audis, okay? We do have some lined up. I wanna drive either an S4 or an RS4. I do like the B5 S4. We've got one of those lined up to film. But I really like the B6 S4 and RS4 because that's got the 4.2 liter V8 and those sound mental. So <laughs> that's definitely one car I want to film. Up next, Lamborghini. Obviously, I want to drive a Gallardo, Aventador, Huracan, whatever. Just a Lamborghini. I don't care what it is. Uh, that's, I know that's a big stretch, but considering we did drive a 991 GT3 RS, I don't think it's out of the realm of possibilities that this could happen in 2017. So. Uh, that's definitely one. The next is, uh, I, I saw this one car when we were out in Osoyoos in the summer filming at Area 27. One of the members on the rally had a Lotus Evora LF1, I think it's called. Sorry, not an Evora. Uh, it was a Lotus Exige LF1, okay? First of all, that car is the best looking Lotus, I think, that is on the market today. Either way, a Lotus Evora or an Exige is like very high up on the list, if not the highest on cars that I want to drive in 2017. Next is a Range Rover. You're like, whoa, Marcus, a Range Rover? This is like, you like JDM cars. <laughs> Range Rover, right? Well, I think they look awesome. I think if we're gonna go film an SUV, we may as well film like a really nice SUV, you know? Something that we can actually go do fun stuff with, stick a bunch of people in the back on adventure, stuff like that potentially some off-roading too, um, so we will do that. NSX, I wanted, we did make a film a while ago, it has over 100,000 views with a bunch of NSXs, we filmed six of them in one day. The most hectic shoot, I think, that we've ever done on the channel, and I didn't even drive, like I didn't even get on camera in that video. I wanna drive an NSX, uh, one of those NSXs in that video, uh, we've got one lined up, we're just waiting for a good day to film it, nice dry and warm day. Next up, a lot of, uh, I just realized, you know, a lot of mid-engine cars on the list, which should not be surprising coming from an MR2 owner, but uh, next up on the list is McLaren. Any McLaren. I like the front end of the MP4, like the back end of the 675LT. If you mash up those, that's like the perfect McLaren in my opinion. Um, but uh, yeah, any McLaren, I just want to drive a proper, proper supercar and McLarens. To me, they look the best. They almost, they don't sound the best, but they're close to it, you know, the doors, the interior, I've sat in one before and they're just, they're nuts, they're insane. I wanna drive a BMW M2. Don't ask me why, I think they look great, I think they sound great, and by all accounts, everybody on the internet, automotive journalists and vloggers alike, say that it is the best M car on sale today, so I wanna drive one of those. Um, I wanna drive a AW11 MR2, that's the first gen MR2. In the MR2 community, if you ask the real hardcore MR2 owners that have owned um, either a first gen, second gen, third gen, they all say the first gen is the most raw and best driving experience you can have, okay? No power steering, it's like 500 pounds lighter than my MR2, and my MR2 is like 2,800 pounds. Um, so that is definitely a car that is, that's not an option not to drive one of those in 2017. Another one, C7 Corvette. They're just so loud, it screams, and everybody says the C7 is like a really good driving experience. Um, and ever since riding shotgun and Ben's C5 Z06 at autocross, they just, it's got me intrigued. I wanna drive a C7, okay? Ford Raptor. Yes, I wanna drive a Ford Raptor. I wanna do cool stuff with it. I think they sound awesome. I think it looks great. Um, I mean, it's like, it's, it's kind of a muscle truck, I guess. Uh, if I'm not a big truck guy, but if there's any truck that I was gonna you know, get behind, it's gonna be the Ford Raptor. I think it has a lot of capabilities and it looks sick and you don't see them around very often. I would wanna drive the first gen or like, you know, the 6.2 V8 just because I mean like twin turbo V6. Cool and all, but I'd rather drive the V8. Uh, and last but not least, I just wanna drive a drift car, okay? Not, maybe not like a tracked out dedicated drift car, but I just want somebody's front, or front engine, rear wheel drive, chassis that I can just take out on like a closed course or something and just like practice drifting. I want to get good at drifting. Ever since we filmed Pumpkin Smash, I have been in love with drifting. So much fun, obviously drifting a little bit in my MR2 in the snow. Uh, if you follow us on Instagram, you would have seen that. That was so much fun. But yeah, I think 2017 is going to be a great year. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. 
We'll see you guys next week. Two videos. Um, remember, on Instagram, these will be for sale. Both of these. 35 of each. That's all we've got right now, okay? More will be coming, but only if these sell out. You might be wondering, Marcus, why is there a freaking turbo on your desk? Okay, well, so this is the turbo that I pulled from my MR2 because it was, uh, like, blown seals and it's just, just not a good time. Still works, but you know, it's not... It's not ideal. I've got a fresh turbo in there rebuilt by Campos on Instagram. Go follow him there. Um, but my question to you is, I was kind of thinking about it. I'm like, I could just throw this up on Craigslist, get a few hundred dollars for it, and just be done with it, right? Have it out of my life. But I'm the kind of guy who likes learning, okay? I want to rebuild a turbo, okay, you guys? So if you guys want to see a quick video series, well, it might not be quick, actually. It might take me a long time, but I don't know. If, uh, if you think I should rebuild this CT20 Turbo from my MR2, hit the comment section, give this video a thumbs up and let me know because I'm really considering doing it. All I got to do is get a rebuild uh, kit and then just shoot it in my garage and make a series on it for you guys on the channel. So hit me up in the comments below if you think I should do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully uh, you enjoy all the content that we put out on a weekly basis. See you guys next time. You play Forza, right? You get onto Forza, you get onto Need for Speed, whatever it is. You're ripping around a crazy, maybe RB26 swapped S15, Rocket Bunny, like it's nothing. But in all reality, I mean.